Hey everybody, Jeff Yenser, creativemusicgenius.com and today I'm going to create some binaural beat uh, music for you right here live on the fly. What you're hearing is a couple of tracks I've already recorded here inside of Loopy Pro, right? And I want to talk about harmony. Okay, I want to talk about harmony, how several sounds sound together right you look at this is the fundamental right that's the note i'm playing it's a, it happens to be a c right and then you see all these other frequencies right that are happening it's multiple frequencies happening at once not just one right we give it a name like c and we said it's uh, you know say uh 528 uh hertz is the frequency or whatever it is sometimes it varies you know, a lot of sounds go up and down the pitch. You see, when it lights in the green, it's hitting 528 exactly, but it kind of goes up and down around that, too. It's not just one consistent sound, right? So it's multiple frequencies, and that's what we call harmony. That's when what makes sound so pleasing is all the different frequencies that happen with it, right? So I think we have to explore that when we're looking at binaural beats and we're looking at brainwave activity right so if I play this note right here right the fundamental that's the strongest one I'm gonna just move the mouse up here to the next one okay and I'm gonna play an octave higher and you'll notice right that that I've just gone up one octave in in the harmonic series right and then if I go back to my original C now I'm gonna go up to the next one in line here okay put my mouse over it I'm going to play a G, right? And here's how high that harmonic is, right? So that's C and a G, which if you look in the circle of fifths, right, they're right next to each other, okay? They're a fifth apart. And that's the most harmonious combination of frequencies, the octave and the fifth. And then there's a bunch of other ones that go up from there. I'm not going to take time to go through that whole thing right now, but you can, you know, look that up on the Internet, right? and and see um, <clears throat> the harmonic series and what the notes and all that are right they pro progressively get closer and closer together as they go up higher and higher in pitch right so you've been listening to uh, King of Digital <laughs> King of Digital right new app by audio kit uh, now, for my binaural beats, what I've got is um, I'm going to press uh, MIDI channel 2 on my keyboard. You can't see that, uh, but now, okay, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to mute these, okay? So what you're hearing right now is these two Waverly XL, okay? And I've got them set to the same sound. You'll, you'll notice, right, one's panned all the way left, one's panned all the way right. Now, you if I come over here to this fine knob, right, plus 8 cents and that one. If I open the other one, it's plus 24 cents. So there's a difference of 16 cents, right, which if I play... Let's get the let's get the tuner over here for fun and open it up. Okay, so this is the one that's tuned only up eight cents, right? And it's giving me a frequency of about one thirty-one or so. Okay, so that's going to give me <coughs> a delta frequency. I'm gonna play the next octave up I get 261 and then the next octave 524 or so okay so let's see 5 
that's C4, that's C3, the third octave of C. So that's what I'm going to play right now. I'm not going to get into the math right now in this episode, but in the future, we'll get a little bit more into the math and, you know, look at the uh, frequency we got here. But it's in the delta range. It's like one point something, right? It's the difference in hertz that I get, which is cycles per second, right? So that's in the delta brainwave area, right? When I tune that one to 8 cents and this one to 24 cents, I'm going to pan left and right. So that's giving me my binaural effect today, right, from the instruments. Now, um, just so you know, here's Terra Pro, which I've been using in some of these tracks. Um, and I'm going to click on it, settings, and show you right here, A equals 444. Four, four. That's the frequency I like to tune to. So that's like my central frequency, right? So over here, um, let's see, King. Well, the King open. King FM, right? I go to the oscillator page. Now, you'll notice that fine is a little bit sharp, right? I'm not going to click on it right now, but it's, it's tuned to 16 cents, right? Which gives me that love frequency at 528 whenever I play a C5. Or, I mean, even if I was playing a C4 or C3, you realize I'm going to get some 528 in there because of the harmonics. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and bounce to a new Loopy Pro page. A blank page I can see that my two instances of Waverly they'll go to yellow right so I'm going to choose yellow right I'm going to keep these muted for now and I'm going to come up to yellow and I'm going to play some tones Isn't that relaxing? We got that recorded there in the yellow. So that's our binaural tone. Now, if you're using headphones or if you're sitting in the center uh, spread of stereo speakers, right? So that one speaker's hitting your left ear and one speaker's hitting your right ear. Like I'm in the sound chair right now, my blissful sound chair, I call it, that I built this myself. I've got Speaker on the left, speaker on the right, and I got a subwoofer under my butt. All right, so I'm getting the binaural sound, creating the binaural sound. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to click on the next cell, and when it loops around again,
Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to ditch that and start over. Okay, and what I realize is happening is this sequence button is on, and that means what over on page 8 that I showed you in the beginning is playing along. Those are those extra sounds that you heard right there. But I'm going to click on these over here. And for those of you that are into the Loopy Pro, um, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to hit Save and uh, Projects and sample projects. I'm going to show you how I got this uh, setup that you see, right? Eight by eight scenes, right? That's the one I started with. Okay, let's go back and look. Okay, and that gave me these rows. And I actually deleted some of those rows so I could see this easier. My circles would be a little bit bigger, right? So I deleted some rows to make all that bigger. I added this over here. This is simply a tempo slider. <laughs> okay, I thought it was really cool when Loopy Pro came out with that uh, feature where you could change the tempo with a, a slider. Um, and I put some one shots here. So this is my setup, right? And I've got my synths going to the various colors, right? And so on. Color scheme going down. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take the Terra Pro off mute, and I'm going to turn off the uh, wave release, right, but press, uh, turning off MIDI channel 2 on my keyboard, basically, I'm gonna, uh, okay, I'm on this one already, so why, why not stay here? So the Terra Pro... Is that your favorite sound in the world? Brassy flute. No. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this. Uh... It doesn't have the, okay, it doesn't have that harsh attack, unless I'm down here. Okay, that's a cool discovery. All right, so, okay, I'm going to play in the upper register on this. I'm going to double click it so it goes to default volume, and did we look at this already? The Terra Pro is going to purple. And pink. Blue is for bass, right? That light blue. Dark, dark blue is for vocals. All right, now. Okay, I'm going to hit purple. Thank you. 
Okay, so I think that sounded pretty good in general. Let's uh, see if it'll... That's got its own kind of binaural echo, left-right thing going on, you know. Um... Be interesting to dive into the Terra Pro settings and uh, see uh, what that looks like. I'm playing an extra note here, but just so you can see, Terra Pro has stereo waveform display. There's a lot of sense that only that only has one waveform, you know, and it's like combine both channels or something. But this gives you both, and you can you can bust this out, <laughs> right? <laughs> so we'll explore that some more in in future episodes. But I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna pause that. I'm going to unmute now the king. It's, it's, okay, and we got this other row over here. Let's look at the king. The king's going to all colors right now. He hasn't even really been trimmed down yet. So that, but that's okay. All right. So let's go here. Wait, hold up. Turn that one off. Am I doing this right? <laughs> Clear that out. Okay, let's try this. Okay, I'm going to try again. Okay, I think that sounded pretty good, except what I'm going to do is uh, swipe on this baby and come on down. To fade in, fade out. Because I, what I realized is uh, I was playing at the end there, and probably some of the tail. Can I get this? Sometimes I really struggle with this thing. One point four seconds. Okay, I need more than that. Okay, we're gonna go with nine point three seconds on the face. That's better. I just had to use my finger there. <laughs> okay, so 
th there it is. I, I, I don't want to go on with this, but I will create a mixed down version of the soundtrack that I'm working on. Put it on the website, creativemusicgenius.com. At some point in the future, I'm just going to fine tune it a little bit, mix it down, and we'll have a beautiful track. We'll do this again, hopefully within a week of another episode, and we'll learn more about binaural beats, brainwave entrainment, and music creation. <laughs>